Hello and welcome to No Man's Sky, everybody. This is Alan Paul, and we're going to be doing a uh, no starter ship challenge. Permadeath, no starter ship challenge. Um, no live streams today. Uh, we're just going to be going ahead and recording a few videos, and I was going to put them out throughout the week. So enjoy this. We'll be streaming next weekend. And we're going to do, again, a no starter ship challenge. Permadeath, maximum difficulty. I am not doing the Beeble Bum challenge. I'll be doing that on a live stream. I'd rather do that on live streams. Uh, it may not even be this week. I will probably do a very relaxed stream next week. So let's go ahead and get into custom. We're going to do permadeath, but we're going to set everything to maximum difficulty. See if we can survive this this time. As you know, I've been having a little difficulty with that lately and getting especially the enemy strengths. Uh, we're going to disable the tutorial mission, of course. Everything's challenging, and we're going to lock out the difficulty settings. So everything's maxed out, as you can see. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and get started. So we're going to do, again, a no starter ship challenge. We have to go in a different direction. I'm going to keep my HUD on because I do want to make this a little bit more enjoyable. Uh, the no HUD challenge is a little bit different, and it makes it a way, way, way more difficult. So, But we're going to go ahead and at least just get this done. So let's go ahead and move on. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Go ahead and hit that like and subscribe buttons, and I would very much enjoy any of your all's participation in this. Leave comments, anything you'd like to say. Now, I'm using a new software tool here. Um, instead of OBS, I'm using Prism at this point, very similar to OBS, but uh, I've been told it's a lot more stable. So we'll see how this works. I've been having trouble getting it set up and working properly. So, so here we go. First contact. Looks like we're on a... Yeah. Radiative, radio, ugh, can't talk, radioactive planet. We need to get stuff immediately. I'm going to get that sodium right in front of me because it's there. And we're going to get some ferrite dust because we always need that. And we'll get some carbon so it can recharge. Because we can't do anything until we start building up some stuff. Let's see how much ferrite we get out of that. About 20? Okay, good. Uh, these are not producive plants. Ah, good. Carbon, excellent. Big plants for carbon. Let's see how much carbon we can get out of these bigger plants. And we're going to look for a cave and everything like that. Looks like we've got some possibly broken technology there. 40 from that one big plant. Let's see what we get from the little one. Uh, 16. Okay. This is ferrite dust. We'll get more ferrite dust out of this. And then we got to start looking for some place to hide. <laughs> look for cobalt. We can make some batteries. Um, I don't know what we're going to find. Ah, that's salt. I don't need salt. What do I need salt for? Is that what that is? Yeah, we don't need salt. That's going to be annoying. I'm not trying to get salt. I'm trying to get the ferrite dust. Give me a break. Oh, good grief. We'll need a lot of ferrite. And we won't, on, we don't, we won't only need it for building stuff. We're going to need it... Ah, it's see salt again. We'll need it for repairs as well. Hopefully we don't get too damaged too often. Are those? That's carbon too. What do, we, what do you give us? Yeah, when I get to listen to that voice. As you know, it's my favorite voice. All right, Dust, little guy. All right, good. I can't get that yet. All right, looks like we got a cave right here. That would be great. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is good. Very, very good. Let's hop in. Um, a little further? But we're, oh, we're not quite inside the opening. Okay. There we go. Good deal. Let's get the carbon while we're here. Looks like we got some more carbon there. I'll get the big one too. This is really good. So this is not a bad start. Get some more ferrite dust. And then we'll go for the cobalt here in just a minute. Ah, good timing. Mining beam. All right, looks like we got plenty of carbon. Excellent, excellent, excellent. We'll need more carbon because we're going to be building some stuff. So we're going to need the carbon to make some uh, carbon nanotubes and things like that. Huh. That's one heck of a plant that's having a little trouble there. Better get a lot out of it. No, yeah, we did. Okay, good. I'll get some carbon from that too. I could use it. All right. That looks like it. All right. Let's go in here. We're not worried about our ship. 100 carbon. We're going to get rid of the salt. It's useless to us. Uh, let's see. We don't have any overcharge slots in here, so I'm going to put our life support over here. 
I always like to keep the jet pack out in the open like that. Multi-tool, let's take a look. Oh, we got supercharged slots. Ah, I wish I would have saw that before. All right, we'll put you there. Scanner, we can now repair that. And we're going to install our analysis visor. We need one carbon nanotube. We do that. Let's go ahead and do that real quick. Excellent. All right. So now we can scan things. What else can we do? We can do a bolt caster and terrain manipulator. Uh, I don't have any dihydrogen yet, so I'm not going to worry about terrain manipulator for now. All right. Good. What do we got? Oh, you know what, though? Hang on. What's our scanning range? 150? Okay. 187. That's better. We'll get a longer range now. Uh, what do you got for me? Sodium. I'll go ahead and take that. Extra sodium is always good for now. We're going to be making some batteries here soon. That's gold. I, gold is good. Don't get me wrong. But you know what? We can scan these things, though. Let's see what their secondary elements are. Hopper. Hmm. That's interesting. What about the lower guys? Cobalt and... Yeah, that's ferrite dust and dihydrogen? Okay, I didn't get the lower one. There it is. That's the lower one. Cobalt and silver. Great. Silver's useless to us, so we're going to be constantly clearing out our inventory. Not worth a lot of money. Not worth keeping. That's interesting. It's telling me how many creatures I discovered. Flora discovered. Minerals discovered. Fascinating. I don't need the gold. I need the cobalt. So we're going to be clearing out some inventory. The copper is kind of useful to me. I think we, we can get some chromatic metal out of that later on. When we need it. So that'll be good. I'm not sure how much, how long I'm going to do this uh, first episode. I know you've probably already seen it in the description. You can see when it uploads. But right now, uh, as I'm playing, I obviously have no idea how long I'm going to go. We need a lot of batteries. I'd like to have usually about 20 to 30 batteries if I can get it. These are carbon. Well, that's nice. I'll take that. It's always good. No reason to identify it. I mean, it, it doesn't have any secondary elements. It looks like I'm getting a lot of carbon out of these little guys. And they're easy to pick up. Good. Alright, how's my inventory look there? 235. Very nice, very nice. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the gold. We don't need it. And the silver... Okay, I've got a little bit of copper. Not much. Get some more carbon. I like that. Very nice. So our all goal to this is we're not going to head to the starter ship. We are going to look for a, basically a crashed ship. But we can buy a ship too, okay? So if we can get enough money, enough credits, then we can buy a ship. Alright, that should be enough cobalt for now. Alright, let's see how many batteries we can make. Five ferrite dust. We're not going to get a whole lot because we're almost out of ferrite. We get 12 of them. Let's get some ferrite. We need dihydrogen, so we'll go ahead and get that too. Oh, got a geode. Excellent. Excellent. That's very good. Very, very good. We want to get as many of those as we can. Keep the beam hot. We can... Harvest faster. Try to stay away from the salt. That's salt too. Bread. Alright, let's see how many we can make now. Good, good, good. Alright, we need 10 more cobalt. I got 20 batteries. That is a very nice start. So that'll keep our shields charged until we can start finding a... Uh, Upgrade for our shield, if we can get one for radiation. It seems that the radiation ones are almost easier to get than, say, I don't know, the toxic ones, I think, personally. I don't know. You're a ferrite for that one. Geode. Good. Okay, 26. I'd like to have 30. Let's go for just a little bit more. And 
just about there. Let's see what we got. 30. Okay, we can get one more. Let's get seven more cobalt, right? Wait for that to fade so I can get an accurate number. There we go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Perfect. And it gave us 14. Anyway. There we go. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. So we got 32 batteries. We should be good. Uh, let's get rid of the silver. We've got plenty of cobalt. Let's go ahead and put that in there now. Excellent. Now we are going to be looking for... Let's get rid of the salt. And we'll keep the copper down here. We're going to be looking for definitely a little bit of sodium because we definitely want some sodium and some ferrite. Uh, we want some dihydrogen. We're going to be looking for upgrades at some point. Our ship is over here. Um, north or south? Let's check our planet. We are in the north, so we're going to head south. Okay, excellent. And we want to find the eight floor, uh, fauna that's on this planet because that will give us the nanites. Now, most likely, uh, let's see. So we don't want to head that way. We're going to head south. And it looks like we've already got an unknown building in the distance here. So let's go ahead and get out of the cave and we'll... I gotta just make sure I know where I'm at here. Here we go. And we'll head out. We'll head in the northerly direction once we are out of the cave. And we're gonna head towards this unknown building, which is due south. Not north, south, that's what I meant to say. And while there are no no sentinels floating around yet, let's go ahead and get ourselves as many of these crystals as we can. Because we definitely need a lot of dihydrogen, and that'll, that will help us make our life support gels. I don't know what kind of oxygen plants we have on the planet yet. Hazardous planets is what we're looking at there. All right, that's good. And we already have some condensed carbon. I'm going to go ahead and take that up now. Hopefully the animals are friendly. This is not as big as I thought it was. That's good. Excellent. That is a really good find right there. Uh, let's go ahead and scan these guys. And we're not being attacked. That's excellent. Go ahead and get that guy. That's two of eight. Three of eight. Probably got some flying creatures, I'm assuming. No? Okay. Let's go ahead and head on. And we want some oxygen patches. And we are very curious to find any... Oh, that's good. And you know what we got to do for that? We are going to do that and make that number two. So we can go into first person view. We'd have no terrain manipulator at the moment. So we can pick these things up. That is money. Money in hand. This looks like it's an economy scanner, so that's good too. And we got ships flying over. That's excellent. Which way are they going? I don't see them now. There they go. Just one guy. All right. Uh, sodium. Grab it. Not you. I want my radiation protection. Thank you. All right. Let's take a look. Looks like we've got some broken machinery to my left. There's my ship way in the distance on the right. All right. I don't see any of the buildings or anything like that, but we do have a minor settlement. Looks like literally right in front of us. That is fabulous. And I think we had... We're going to come back to this in a second. We've got damaged machinery right there. Let's check it out. I think we just got another crystal. Yeah, we did. Excellent. Make sure we check the secondary elements. Ooh, we get sodium out of this one. That's good. Not interested in the money that we're making over scanning these. We're interested in the secondary items we can get out of them. And how are we doing? 2%. 1% and... Let's go ahead and recharge our mining beam with the condensed carbon we had. And I think... Can we pick this guy up without... I don't know if we can. Nope, doesn't look like we can. 
All right, so we are going to have to make a terrain manipulator at some point. Ooh, that was a good plant I just heard. We don't need Fecium. Nanites. Okay, good. Well, let's go ahead and make that in our multi-tool. Let's go ahead and make our terrain manipulator. We need two carbon nanotubes and a dihydrogen jelly. 50%. So, two carbon nanotubes and a dihydrogen jelly. There we go. Go ahead and make that terrain manipulator. And let's go ahead and grab this. There we go. We got four out of that. And we got these plants. These are going to give us our oxygen. We'll go ahead and grab those. Get the grass, gassy pods first. Get your mining beam out and take them out. Now, this doesn't seem to be a dissonant planet, so we're not going to get ourselves a really good unit here, but that's okay. That's okay. All right, excellent. Uh, looks like I got some condensed carbon over there. Let me go ahead and grab it from here. And it keeps dropping. Come on. One. All right. I'm going to go ahead and grab this. There's a lot of sodium around and everything like that, but... But I'm going to go ahead and grab some of the other stuff that we need. We're going to head back to the thing that we were just at, the economy uh, scanner. And we're probably going to head to that minor settlement. And we'll sell some stuff and get a little bit of money. There we go. Good deal. Ah, more oxygen. So the fact that we have so much oxygen is going to be good. I'm going to get rid of these things because they're in my way. I need ferrite dust anyway, so I might as well grab it. Because my point here is that I really want to get the oxygen that's in that plant. And I can't seem to get it because something's in the way. We're going to grab the salt and get it out of the way because it's annoying us. I want your oxygen, my friend. And this thing's taking way too long to get this. All right. Okay. Exigen. Excellent, excellent, excellent. We've already got 50 oxygen from this guy. And there we go. Okay. And it looks like we got some more berry tech. Good. We're going to start out with a pretty decent amount of money here. Uh, where is that settlement we were just at? Because the beacon. That's it. Not settlement. Because they had some stuff there. Um, okay, I've got myself stuck. There we go. Right there. So we had some more berry technology. We're going to grab that. Don't forget the grab berries because they help in getting things taken care of. It, it, it increases certain, like hazard protection or life support. I don't remember which. Let's head towards that settlement. Whoop. And not go down into a hole. Okay, we got a good amount of dihydrogen. I don't think we're going to be needing any anytime soon. Because, uh, especially with all these crystal fragments we're getting. This is great. Alright, good. Excellent. Let's get that oxygen. We want to keep it close to the ground. How are we doing on that stuff? Let's take a look. Look at that. Look at that. Isn't that great? We got a lot of dihydrogen. And we got a good amount of this. This is going to sell well. well. Let's get rid of our salt. We don't need it. We'll hang on to that for now. I'm not going to need it, but that's okay. All right. Good. Good, good, good. We're looking good. So I don't need any more dihydrogen for now. First time I've ever had it find a settlement close by. I wonder if that's something that they fixed. Is that an animal I've seen or discovered before? No, nope. oh, wait, there's a whole bunch of animals that just popped up. Okay, so that's four of eight. I see you no know, flying creatures. I guarantee you some are going to be underground, though. Okay. Oh, over here. Went the wrong way. 
but while I'm over here, we're going to grab this. And then we can get a really quick boost over there. And we might even be able to get inside. Ah, broken machinery. I do want to grab the broken machinery. Damaged machinery, that is. No, it was a waste. Launch fuel. Okay, that's okay. I don't think we're going to get inside in time. We may have to use a battery. No, we're definitely not. Okay, but we've got an oxygen patch down below. Go ahead and grab that. And as we land, I'll go ahead and up and... Uh, battery. There we go. Ooh, good. How much oxygen did we have? 203. We only need about 100 more. But you know what? If I don't grab it all... So rather than making life support gels, we know this planet's going to have a lot of oxygen for me in those plants. So that's going to be a good thing. I don't see any of the snappers or the whip type hazardous creatures. So that's fine. Is that it? Okay. So we're going to head this direction. So we seem to be fortunate enough that we're not going to be in one of those planets. And I don't need oxygen for a while, so I'll just go ahead and head over. There we go. See, 500 in oxygen. We're in good shape, man. Now, one thing I didn't determine, what does this planet have? Copper, uranium, magnetized ferrite. All right. Uh, you know what? There should be some stuff over here. may not be here. That'll just give us 10 nanites. But, see, there's buried tech right here. So we're going to grab that. That'll give us more. Let's go to the damaged machinery. Don't need the slime. And this will hopefully, maybe it'll give us an upgrade. Nope, we'll just get nanites. That's okay. That's okay. Uh, nothing in here that we need. I don't need the encrypted data. I'm not trying to call a ship in. Ah, nanites. Yep, and now it's falling. I know, you're going to keep telling me back and forth. Stabilizing, falling, stabilizing, falling. Leave me alone. Looks like a pretty decent system. We will talk to him in a moment. Let's see what kind of uh, tool we've got here. B-Class. It has one supercharged slot, but we do have a paralysis mortar on board, which would be worth it if we can buy it, which I doubt it. Yeah, two million. I doubt we're going to get enough money to buy that. All right, what else do we have? We have some nanites. We have some credits. We're going to sell some stuff. Oh, boy, it's so nice to be able to do this. Uh, that's pretty good. Pretty good price. I'm going to... See, you don't get much for these things. I don't know why. Uh, but I do kind of need it. No, I don't. And I don't really need it. Not at all, to be honest. Let's go ahead and get rid of it. Just taking up space right now. Uh, what can we buy? Uh, microprocessors are always good, but that's very expensive. Um... Ammonia, paraffinium, metal plating, dihydrogen gels. Um, let's get a couple of those. Let's get 10. And now we don't have to worry about, about get, gathering dihydrogen at all. There's really nothing else in here. We don't have any ferrite dust or anything like that we can get. I don't see any reason to get any of the rest of these things. Okay. Um, let's see if this guy will give us a, an upgrade. Maybe he'll give us a better tool too. Uh, flares the approach, they inhale deeply, tasting the metal tang of the radiation that lingers on my exosuit. They bark out what could be a warning. I hurriedly mime that I'm peaceful and know little of their kind or language. Uh, blah, blah, blah. They take a second to think, then grab my multi-tool while barking again into my visor, streaking it with saliva. They point at the mining beam charge indicator, then at my backpack. We're going to give them carbon. Or a grunts and satisfaction. Satisfaction, impressed by both my gift and my understanding, they teach me several new words. All right, so we're just going to get some words out of them. And nothing else, apparently. Several apparently meant two. All right, what do you got for me? Uh, let's go components first. Uh, 
again, microprocessors would be great. I wouldn't mind a wiring loom and having that. It's expensive, but you never know when you have to install something. But then again, what would you be installing? It could be an upgrade for your mining tool. That's not bad. What else we got? Nothing really of importance. Let's grab that. I know it's expensive, but I want to have one. Okay. And he has... What did he say? Some components, right? Blueprints. We only have 188. But we can get the advanced mining laser. Look at that. We have just enough. That's not going to help us at all. And really none of these is going to help us that much either, to be honest. Although the radiation deflector would have been nice, but... We need a higher rank. Let's grab the laser. We have just enough. Just enough to do that. So let's move you and you and you. And we're going to put you in. We need another wiring loom, which we will not be getting anytime soon. But we can make a hermetic seal and carbon nanotube. So we need a carbon nanotube and a hermetic seal, which we can do. So at least get part of the tool um, set up. Alright, so we need one more wiring loom. We'll get that later. I don't think there was any in here. Pretty sure of it. I'll check anyway. Yep, nothing there. Okay, that's fine. And maybe if we end up with an upgrade that's useless, we can uninstall it and end up with what we're looking for. Alright. So, we are headed south. Okay, we got another technology module over there to get more money. Another one on the hill. Subterranean relics. Cargo drop over there. Oh, okay, that's behind him. Gotcha. And I don't see anything else that we can acquire. We had a technology module there. So we're mostly looking for technology ma modules. I'm going to go for damaged machinery because it's handy. Now, have we been to this one? I don't think we've been to this one. Watch the jetpack. Yeah, about to say. Gotta be careful of that. What, money, I'm assuming? Yeah, entrepreneur. Uh, doesn't look like we've been to this one, because it's in the middle of a plant. No, now we can get to it. Uh, I'm not going to worry about that rusted metal. We're getting enough ferrite dust on this planet to last us a lifetime. Nanites, okay. That's fine. Fine. Nanites are good. We're heading south. Let's head to that very technology mo node over there. Oop. Another creature discovered. That's five of eight. We need a few more of them. A little bit of dense carbon is always a good thing. Let's get the regular carbon, too, because we did have to use some up. Unidentified plant, give me your carbon. Got it. Okay. Did we... Yeah, we highlighted it. Good. All right. Let's head over there. And we're about to have to recharge here. There we go. Look at that, huh? And we've got some broken machinery by it, too. That's good. I'll grab the oxygen plants as I go. Same thing with the uh, uh, sodium plants. For now. Raw berries. Let's see how many we get. And what is it good for? I don't quite remember. Life support. There we go. Excellent. We don't need you. And I'm going to grab you and put you down here for safekeeping. Okay. Just checking to see what I have in my inventory there. Have we scanned you already? Yes, we have. Any more? What do we got up there? Metal fingers, huh? I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the plant, because he's in my way. I don't need the oxygen, so that's why I'm doing it this way. 
There we go. And where did the broken machinery go? There it is. Damaged machinery. I keep calling it that. I don't know why. Weird. Nanites. Okay, that's all right. That's all right. Looks like we got some more damaged machinery over there on the other side of these guys. Now, these usually just typically have gold and uranium, and the uranium could come in handy if we can find it because it also charges the shield um, if you can get a, um, what do you call it, shield? Uh, radiation shield for your person. But it takes a while to harvest, and you get usually a good amount out of one of these metal fingers. Let's see what we got. Yeah. So 191, I want 300, of course. And we'll get the second one as well. Figured I'd do that while I was here. Why is it having trouble? There we go. Got it. Okay, that should get me what we need. So that's more than enough. We got a little bit extra on there on us, so we'll use that. Okay, keep going. So I'm gonna kind of zigzag across the landscape here because we're finding broken machinery as well, and that's always handy. And I think that's broken machinery. Yes, it is. Okay, because I'd like to get an upgrade. If we can get a radiation upgrade, that'll be great. Nanites. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, there should be. There it is. Money buried underground. I don't think we can get to it. Yeah, we're going to have to do it the other way. There we go. Got it. Back to the mining beam. Anybody over here we haven't scanned yet? We ought to check that out real quick. Who do we got? We got underground, underground, underground. So everything else is going to be in a cave. So we don't have to worry about looking for that anymore. So we're heading south. Let's once again take a look and see where we're headed. Uh, we don't have to look for any more animals. We found all the animals we're going to find. Very technology over there. A little bit easier way to travel. There we go. And we should be able to pick this one up. There it is. Old-fashioned way. Or the better way, I should say. Hey, buddy. Nice to see you. That was a very crazy way to be flying, but okay. Whatever. Okay. Plenty of plants coming up. We can check those out. Strawberries everywhere. There we go. Well, that guy's going straight up in the air. I wonder if that's a good thing. That means that there might be something over here. That would be great. And then it was just a matter of getting a ship from somebody. Of course, we don't have enough money to do it. Yeah, I'll go ahead and do two. Because I think this means what I think it means. Yeah, I know. Do not think it means what you think it means. Okay, because I think that means that there is a settlement down there or a landing platform or something along those lines. So we're going to keep heading in this direction and hope for the best. It would be pretty awesome if there was. We're not literally not picking up anything. I think we're too high up. Let's go ahead and head down. Watch the jetpack. Boink. Yep, run into things. As we go, I'm telling you, there's something out there. Another buried technology in our distance. What about you? That's closer. We'll go to that one instead. And then we can hit that one. All right. So I'd say we have a good start here. I mean, this is fairly simple. There's three ships. Let's see what they do. Well, that's a cool-looking ship right there. C-Class, worth $9 million. About 35 minutes in. This is pretty good. 
and they're heading skyward straight. So there might be something over there. Got it. Hello. All right. Damage machinery. What do you got for me? Nanites it is. Okay. Sooner or later, we will get something. It looks like we do have a building over there. We're going to head that way. Uh, we'll pick up the buried technology on the way. Excellent. Okay, it means we're in a different region. Another oxygen patch up there, so that's really good. Um, so this planet is just replete with, with plenty of oxygen for me. I think the building's closer than the technology at this point. No, technology is a little closer. Let's grab the technology. There it is. No broken machinery here, though. There we go. Just got... I got three of them that time. That's good. That's good. Hey, a little sodium over there. Let's grab it. Ah! Kits. Okay. Up. And some sodium. Let's see what our unknown building is. Trading terminal. Excellent. Excellent. Now, if I was doing the Beeble Bum Fugitive Challenge, I'd be doing this differently. Life support power is low. Let's use some of that tons of oxygen I have. Let's sell off the salvage data. Excellent. We got an actual better price for it than we did at the uh, settlement. Uh, let's see. We don't really have anything else we can sell off. Well, let's get rid of that. We don't need it. What do you got in your inventory, my friend? Phosphorus. Hmm. Interesting. I think we actually need that for the shield. That might be wrong. Hmm. Okay. There's nothing in here really we can use. So, we sold off some stuff. Excellent. Uh, where to? We're heading south. Got some technology up on the hill there. That's getting towards our ship and the beacon. Basically the direction we don't want to go. Alright. We're going to head in this direction now and not head to something specific. Let's see what we can find. Maybe as we get further away. We still got to get that uh, wiring module. Capitalist. Take another look. Don't see anything I can use. Let's go ahead and go. Almost did it because we need to charge this. See, they went all the way over there and they're heading straight up in the air. Okay. What do we got? Very technology straight in front of us. Let's go for that one. Looks like we got a cave. But I don't see any animals, so the, the, the fact that we got three animals that we're going to find in an underground cavern are going to be tough. Because underground creatures are hard to discover. If it was just one, it would have been fine, but three is going to be really, really hard to do. And we got broken machinery over there too. Let's head for that. Let's see if we can get this one. Nope. Old-fashioned way again. Uh, there we go. Back up a little bit. There we go. Looks like we're just going to get three out of this one, too. What do we got? All right, more nanites. We are due for something soon. Look at you.
We have a creature there. I don't know what it is. There we go. Interesting. Okay, so that's another creature we just found. All right, let's take a look. Uh, we got a lot of buried technology coming up. So we'll head for that. 254. We got some over here to our left, but we're going to ignore that one. I think we're going to go for this one over here. I'm going to go ahead and use a battery now so we don't have to worry about it while I'm flying over to this thing. Jet packing out. Hello. Crazy looking creature. It looks like a leaf. Okay. Ah, sentinels are showing up. And so it begins. Whoop, there we go. Looks like we're going to get four out of that one. That's good. Should we go for the one over here at 125? We've got two more directly in front of us. Lots of buried technology on this planet. You know, the only thing I can think of is that this planet is high in the order of things as far as uh, uh, economy is concerned. I think it's a pretty high economy because of the stuff that we're finding in inventories and stuff like that. Got that one. Let's go for the ones that were over here. Okay, looks like we got ourselves a tower over there. There we go. Okay, good. A little bit of condensed carbon. Wish we had that advanced mining laser, though. Would have been nice, right? There we go. And it looks like we got 126, 374. Ah, we got an unknown building. We're going to go ahead and highlight that one. We're going to head to this one right here. We'll head straight to it. So we don't miss it. 40. And that way we can grab it before we head out to the building that we discovered. Oh, okay. The building is that building. I don't think we really, really need it, do we? Tower. See? Comms tower. So it already knows it's a comms tower. Okay. So we don't really need to go there. Uh, Very tech. Damage machinery. We want to head that. Wow, look at all the... Look at all this stuff. I mean, good grief. There's a lot of things down here. Let's head to that. Okay, let's see what we get out of this one. More nanites. Worth a shot. Unburied tech. Excellent. My favorite kind. Uh, that's actually in the direction we want to go, so why don't we head that direction? Because we've got two pieces of buried technology on the way. Uh, that'll help out greatly. We've got another damage machinery over here. So let's highlight that one. And we're going to go over here and grab this. Because I really need to find that upgrade if we can. Any upgrade will do at this point. There we go. Okay. Any upgrade. And thinking nanites. Yes, it's just going to be nanites. And do we have a... There is some buried tech right there. Looks like we... Oh, we can get it. There it is. Got to hit the right button. All right. And we're going to need to charge our suit here in just a second. A little bit of condensed carbon never hurt anybody. There it is. Okay. Oh, looks like we got a bunch of condensed carbon over here. Excellent.
Excellent, excellent, excellent. We forgot about our suit. Hold on. I don't want to use two this time. There. Okay, little trick there. More sodium. Let's grab it. We should be in pretty good shape as far as sodium is concerned. Let's grab this in case we've ever injured ourselves. I don't know if we have. This can sometimes give us a microprocessor. Hydrogen jelly. Okay, that's fine. Fine. We got more of those, but that's okay. We don't need any. But, you know, more the merrier. Okay, good. Where are we headed? Over there to the damage machinery. We'll head that. Uh, there we go. Should have some more buried technology around here. There we go. More nanites. Okay. And there's the buried tech. I don't know if we can grab it, if we're going to have to... Yeah, we're going to have to dig it. Dig it out. Whoop, did I miss it? Yeah, I did. Okay. Thought I was aiming at it. And... Alright. How are we doing on stuff? Okay. Doing alright. Doing okay. Alright. Got a ton of uranium. We'll see. We don't quite have 300 condensed carbon, so we're going to go ahead and grab what we can. All right. South. This way. We are finding so many buried tech. It's incredible. Uh, how much? How far away was that? 343. Okay. We were headed this direction. So, look at this. All over the place. We'll hit this one. I think that one's the closer one of the two. Yeah. Let's get, get this one since it's directly in path with where we want to go. There we go. I almost picked up the Sentinel as if it was buried technology for a second there. Just for a moment. That's funny. Oh, that's pretty. Get through that. There we go. Keep our eyes peeled because you never know when something will appear. Got some damaged machinery over there and an ancient data structure. This buried technology is really close, but... I'm more interested in the damaged machinery because we need our upgrades. Oh, ancient data structures. Those could have some good stuff in them. We ought to check. And there's some buried tech here too. All right. Was it worth it? We got nanites. Hey, buddy. Excuse me. And, okay, these we can't seem to get any time we have damaged machinery lately. Okay. More salvage data. Looks like we only got two that time. This, if we can get these without a sentinel around. The exosuit upgrade charts, those are worth money. All right. Is that all of them? Yes. So what do we get? We got one upgrade chart. These aren't worth anything, so we're going to get rid of those. But the upgrade chart's worth 85000 We've got quite a bit of these guys. Yeah, go ahead and use up the last one. All right, keep going. South is this way. Let me just check while we're here, make sure there's not a structure nearby, because that's usually, that could also be a crashed ship, so, which would be better than finding, having to buy one, that is. Whoop, we passed right over it. Oh, wow, we don't even need to be in first person view to get that one. That was hilarious. All right, south, this way. One up the hill, let's go grab it. That's the most expensive item you can grab is the buried technology, so stick to them. Ooh. 
Oh, good. And this one's going to have a damage machinery near it. That'll be excellent. Yep. Ran out of run juice. Can we grab this one? Nope. Not going to let me grab it, huh? All right. Back up a little bit. Let's grab it this way. Okay. And your damage machinery. Okay. Nanites. Okay. Well, it's worth a shot. Uh, let's see. We got more battery technology up the hill. Make sure there's not a... Nothing there. Okay, good. Keep going. So we're doing pretty good. Again, we're almost an hour in, and I hate when that happens. And we're, we haven't found anything that's worthwhile, except for making money, and that's good. Don't get me wrong. We're surviving pretty well. But... We need to find ourselves a ship. Yep, ran out of run juice again. Wasn't paying attention. All right. Let's grab this. This one looks like we might be able to grab it. Nope, can't grab it. Unbelievable. Oh, it is kind of deep there. Okay. Come on, tox radiation protection. That's what we need. Oh, four data. Okay, good. All right. Well, didn't get anything there either. Sooner or later, the store has to run out. Damage machinery. We're gonna head towards that. Yeah, damage machinery that way. But this one's more in our direction. We do want to watch the ships. I've always mentioned that before. Where are they headed? Let's see, here's the thing, too, is with the... Um, that's weird. They should be right here. Oh, you know what? Those aren't data. Those weren't data. Okay. They went in different directions and headed almost straight up in the air. I wonder if there's nothing this way. Uh... Wrong way. And daylight. Wow, it came really quick. That was crazy. All right. Went from night to day almost immediately. Where's our buried tech? There it is. I'm just going to go ahead and dig this time. There we go. All right. South we go. More buried tech that way. Looks like we got some damaged machinery straight ahead. We'll go for that one first. Always look to the right and left. You never know what might be there. Okay, let's head that way. Sodium field. How much sodium do we have? We have 153. We can get more. We need about... 150 more. Not bad. We'll get one more plant. Excellent. We're just over the limit that we needed. Uh, let's see. There's south. Damaged machinery. That's where we're headed. Ship's headed this direction. This time. I'm hoping we're going to find ourselves a crash ship at this point. Nanites again. Okay. What's in our inventory real quick? Because we're getting really full here. We only got one spot available. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this extra uranium. I don't think we need it. Sodium is always good. We're going to go ahead and drop it in here. I'm going to go ahead and put some oxygen in. We're going to go ahead and update. There we go. Okay, we're good. All right. And there should be some buried tech right here. There it is. There it is. Okay. South. Okay, we got some buried tech off to the left. Quite a distance away. 
All right, we're going to head straight. We're going to go this way. Not going to select anything at this time. It's buried tech right there, and it didn't say anything to me. That's interesting. Hmm, odd. More nanites. Okay, well, that's all right. That's all right. Uh, I don't think we can get this one. It's there, but... There we go. Okay. And we'll keep going. Go in the direction that they're headed just for now until we can figure things out. We won't get a wiring loom out of these, but we will get usually some halfway decent stuff like microprocessors. Dihydrogen jellies, yes. Okay. We've got some buried tech up on the hill over there. How far away? 297. I'm going to head this direction. Oxygen patch, like we really need more right now. I'll grab one, just for the sake of it. So this planet has been excellent for finding oxygen. I'm not concerned at all for life support. Okay, that direction is good. Excellent for finding sodium, plenty of ferrite dust, etc., 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 those are the only hazardous plants, apparently, on this planet. Okay, we're down to 15, 14 batteries at this point. That was not good. There we go. Really? And we got some broken machinery up ahead. That's good. And we ran out of good run juice again. Now, remember, any of these traders that land, if they decide to land, can give us... We can trade for their ship if we have the cash. Two more pieces of broken machinery here. Means an opportunity for more buried tech as well. Of course, we've got to check our inventory. Our inventory might be full. So I think all we'll get is going to be nanites, but... It will tell us and warn us about it. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. All right. Good amount of buried tech. Look at that. Five stacks of them. Good, good, good. And look, this one's not even buried. There we go. Looks like we got four out of that one, too. Good, good, good. Hey, come on now. Cut it out. All right, nothing broken. Let's grab some oxygen. Yeah, why not? There we go. That'll help. Dense carbon. That's what we're looking for here. Okay. That's it. We're done. I promise. Hope he doesn't shoot me. Okay. More nanites. Okay. Uh, let's see. Damaged machinery over here. We'll go ahead and head towards it. Let's see where these guys end up. Make sure I didn't have a ship land next to me. That would have been kind of cool, but I don't see one. Never know. Could be a microprocessor. Corvax casing. Yay! That doesn't help me at all. Okay. Upgrade, 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 upgrade. Nanites. Yeah, oh well. Technology. 
Looks like we got another one over here, so I'm going to go ahead and head towards it. Wow, this place is just tons of this stuff all over the place. The only, the only thing about this is very, very fortunate. Ah, we're going to get an upgrade. Yay! Okay, so what do we got? Let's put this in our multi-tool. Of course, it's too much. Starship launch fuel. Never mind. I was hoping it would be an upgrade. I'm going to get rid of that, too. I don't need it. All right, so at least there's two spots open. That upgrade chart is getting annoying. I want to sell it. I don't want to use it. Uh, let's see. I've looked around in a little bit. Tap, 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 tap. Daughter's over here playing a game, and she's tapping away like crazy. Let's just take a look at these ships real quick. There they go. Mm, I don't know if we're going to see them much longer. They're heading to the left. So really, there should be a settlement this way, but that's in the direction of my ship, and I don't want to head in the direction of my ship. Because that's going back the way we started. And that would not be good. Let's head to this. What can we get? Microprocessor. Awesome. Very tech. Let's head to that. Like we said, we're using up a lot of batteries, though, so we're going to have to find ourselves a cave and make some more batteries soon. We are not going to use the exosuit upgrade chart. I promise you it's not going to happen. We run across a drop pod. That'll be fine, but... We haven't had to make ourselves a... Uh, uh, refiner yet either one uh, that's pretty funny interesting very interesting okay can we get you without digging yes we can all right and what do you got for us anything good it's a shield module but it looks like it's for a ship Huh? Oh, just a shield. Got it. What does that give us? Core health. Oh, okay, cool. That's good. Now, what we can do is we can uninstall and get our, you know, A-class upgrade out of it. We'll think about it. Okay, we got to get around this thing. So, let's take a look. Got some busted machinery over there. More over there. And the one we just came from. All right, good deal. So we got one upgrade. That's okay. Let me get this going first. There we go. Okay. As we know, our no armory radiation protection is falling. You'll give me a decent upgrade for it. I won't have to worry about it anymore. That would be nice. But just go ahead and give me nanites. That's fine. Maybe I'll just buy my own. Fine. There you are. Anything? No? Oh, wait, 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 wait. There we go. Got it. South is that way, but we got a buried tech over there. I mean, uh, broken machinery over here. I'm going to head this way for now. And then we start heading back that way. That way. Actually, let's just head this way. Got some right in front of us. That'll work better. All right. We are over an hour now, and we're going to be getting to the point where I'm going to have to shut down. Ah. There we go. All right. Let's see what we got. And we got nanites. And, yep, we got it. Now, we got to check our inventory because I think we're getting close to the point of saturation. Yeah, we've only got one more spot left. Um, and we're, we've got enough of those. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that for now. 
Okay. We are maxed out on everything else. So let's head south. Let's hope we can find something very soon. We'll probably go another 15, 20 minutes, and then we're going to call it. Okay, south it is. This way. So this will be one hour long episodes, or just over, if you will. Vehicles, huh? Vehicles are unlocked. Oh, that's great. That's what I'm planning on doing. I'm going to build myself a car. An Uber. I can call an Uber. That would be great, right? Maybe I can build the ship. Would that be all right? Life support power is low. Do you know that? Now you do. All right, guys, lead me to something nice. Let me look it over this way real quick, make sure I'm not missing something. Head left, head left, head left. You're going to head right. Okay, well, I'm still going to head this way for now. And I'm going to hope that I run into something I can use. Anything but dihydrogen gels. Okay, so apparently my inventory is full. Probably dihydrogen. Life support gel. Okay, that's all right. Microprocessor. How many of those other things do I have? We only have a spot for two more in there, and then we're done. Okay. We definitely need to find some place we can trade. Or get a pilot to land near us so we can trade with them. One of the two. All right. Let's see if we can get more microprocessors. Yes. You? Two of them. Oh, wow. That's something. All right. Mutant plants. I don't care about mutant plants. We'll get the, the buried tech. We're more interested in upgrades at this point. But we are out of inventory space, so if we get any upgrades, it's going to be a little bit tough choice to decide what we're getting rid of. It'd be great if somebody landed near me and I could sell with them. No? No, nobody. Okay. Oh, crap. Huh. That actually was all right. I don't see any places I can go. I haven't seen anything like that in a while. Nope, can't grab it. Okay, let's grab you first. Actually, let's go in our inventory and see if there's anything I can get rid of. That. Okay, we're good. And... Nope, no radiation. Okay. So we can only take in two more. Otherwise, our inventory is full. And it looks like it only gave us two. Excellent. Okay, so we don't need any more buried tech. We're going to have to hold off on everything at this point. All right, let's take a look. We're looking for some place to stop. Damaged machinery in front of us. I don't see any buildings anymore. Okay. Oh, wait, what was that? Yes, I do. I do see an unknown building over there. That's the direction we're going. And that's probably where we're going to stop for the time. Yeah. We're hour and ten into this, so yeah, I think that's enough time. Of course. Ran out of run juice again. Okay, 
singular ship. Ouch. And I look, look, look like I lost something on that, too. Okay. Well, maybe there's a... Uh... Well, no, no, that's my upgrade. Now that I think about it, I just never charged it. Okay, that's fine. All right, what do we got down here? I don't see a beacon sticking up. Drop pod. Okay, that'll work. That'll give us extra room in our inventory. There we go. All right. So we are going to have to make ourselves a refiner. So this will be some place we can camp here. We will go ahead and upgrade right now. Uh, let's see. Let's grab this. Put you in here. Get rid of the rest. Oh, nope, didn't have to worry about that. Let's get rid of you. All right. So we need to make one of these. We need a metal plate. Let's get a metal plate. So we hit every button but the one we need to. And we need sodium nitrate. We need we need uh, 10. Meanwhile, let's go back in here. We need one of these and one of these. We'll get them put in real quick. Okay. Grab the rest. And get that. All right. So I'm not worried about the technology up here. We need to upgrade our exosuit. I'm going to take care of the hole in the middle because that always drives me nuts. And now we have a refiner in our midst. So that is that. We've got tons of this stuff. We've got uh, one, two, three and a half mil, give or take, with this extra one over here. Okay, so why don't we... I'm going to keep the core health. I kind of like it. I'm going to hold on to that for now. Okay. And do we have any place else we can go? We've already got another place over there. Why don't we head towards it? Let's take a little extra time. It's kind of in the direction we're going anyway, so... Let's see what we got. Could be another drop pod. It could be anything. So it's nice to have the inventory space. In case you didn't know, my radiation protection is falling. And this will get us there just a little bit faster. Excellent. And what do we got? A beacon. Unknown building. Let's use it. Let's see what we got around us. Got some stuff to our right. Uh, I don't think there's any ships that I can see on the... And that's going back to the settlement we were probably already at. Yeah, a half hour earlier. Oh, uh, well, it is what it is. There was something to our right. I don't know what that is. It wasn't a ship or anything like that, so... But well, we're heading that way anyway. I don't see any more buildings. And like I said, it's getting to the point where we need to start thinking about shutting down. Okay, so let's head this direction. We've got some broken machi damaged machinery up there. We'll head there. Go. And there it is. Damaged machinery. What do we got? Be great for an upgrade. Nanites it is. We're up to 647 nanites as well, so that's a good thing. Uh, buried tech. We could get more. Nothing else in that direction, it appears. Let's go up the hill. Hour and 15. 
Yep, I'm going to keep telling you. Looks like we got some broken machinery over there. I'll take it. If I can just get one of these guys to land, that would be kind of nice. That way we can trade with them, get rid of some of this inventory. Make a little extra cash. More nanites. Hesitant about grabbing more of this because of the fact that my inventory is getting so full. But I'll go ahead and grab it. It's worth it for now. That way south, we got some broken damaged machinery. Let's head towards it. So why don't we do this? We're going to call it as a next building we come to. Next building we come to, we'll go ahead and call quits, even if it's just a drop pod. Okay. Upgrade, 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 upgrade. Nanites it is. And it should be a buried technology here, but I don't see it. Oh, right in front of me. That's why, because it's unburied. Okay. Let's go over here. What do we got? Gamma root. Of course we've got gamma root. It had to be gamma root. Okay, let's go up there to the jettison pods and stuff like that. Yep, I know. We're going to use that life support gel. That way it's one extra spot open in my inventory. I think that's a good idea. Ion battery, we could use those. All right. Aha. Another building. So that's going to be our stopping point. Whatever that building happens to be. Hopefully it's an indoor building. Hi. Excuse me. Pardon me. Sorry. Coming through. Wow. That was uh, kind of weird. And our radiation protection, of course, is falling. Uh, okay. Well, that looks like a, what do you call it? Uh, ancient structure. And as I'm sitting here, I'm also starting to hear thunder. What well, it sounds like thunder outside. Maybe it's just my neighbor breaking things. I don't know. Uh, was it 10,000 now? Yes, it is. I'm a drifter. All right, now this isn't the kind of structure that's going to give us much, but we'll go ahead and hit it up anyway. Maybe it'll recharge everything for us. I'm not going to read it. Uh, knowledge of the past is kind of nice. Let's get an overview of everything. Okay, looking around. Nice clear sky, though. Boy, I'm not seeing anything, though. So, uh, yeah, you're going to see a break in the video here because I don't know what happened, but literally Prism crashed. So this does not bode well for that product at this point. So as you can see, I'm jumping back. So I did this purposely so you'd see what happened. So it doesn't bode well for the product because the product has been, it's the latest version of it. And I don't know what in the world just happened here. So we're going to do this one more time. Knowledge of the past. We'll do the pullback again. Again, there's nothing there. And we'll go and continue to head south. I think. It depends on where the historical data is located. So over there, which I... Is that the way we came? Oh, well, it's mostly in the direction of south. We'll go ahead and head that way. That's fine. We can't really stop here because this is not an indoor structure of any type. I'm just going to take a quick look around. Okay, so we will head in that direction, but there is nothing to go on in that direction, so let's keep going. Now, again, I'm not keen on what it just did. Uh, 
I hope this isn't a regular occurrence because I had to shut it down and restart Prism. So I'm a little disappointed at this point. Um, while we're here, there we go. Health restored. We now have full four, four health bars. How far away is this thing? 15 minutes away. So we're not going to see it on this run. We will see it in the next run. Let's take a look. Always look around, as you never know. Yeah, definitely hearing thunder out there. That is definitely not my neighbor. Whole house is shaking. So we are going to have to shut down soon anyway, just due to the fact that we've got issues coming up. How's our inventory look? One spot open. we got four more technology that we can get. Let's put this in our multi-tool. Yeah, I only took one. And there we go. We'll give this a boost and get a little direction on this. So, yeah, that was really, really weird. There you go. Nice, good boost in this direction. Off we go. I mean, the simplicity of the program, uh, Prism, seems to be good. I like the simplicity. It's very easy to use. I don't have multiple sources set up. It just takes the source that I've got. It knows it's getting audio from the speakers or my headphones, and that's great. I don't have to add it in as a source. It just does it. That is easy. But the first time I used it, I completely lost... 20 minutes of a video I was doing because it was on a freeze screen. It's almost like it didn't recognize I was doing anything. And now suddenly it's working properly and I don't understand the differences. I didn't change anything. So, I don't know. Did it take 48 hours to get acclimated to my system? I have no idea. So, anyway. Let's see if we can get an upgrade here. And again, as soon as we find ourselves a shelter, we'll go ahead and call it. Uh, where is our technology? It should be right here. That's it. Can we pick it up? Yes, we can. All right. Now as well do it now because it's about to tell me anyway. All right, let's take a look. We're not getting any more technology. We're done with the buried technology. We need... Um, yeah, that's great. I needed that. We need upgrades is all we need right now. We need to be able to trade. So a settlement would be great if we could find one. Or even a trade station, one of those little little balls at a campsite or something like that. That would be nice. Metal fingers again. And that thunder is getting closer and closer. Let's go up to the top of the hill. Let's head over there. We'll get that damaged machinery. And then we'll head back to the left. Uh, how are we doing on the damaged machinery? We've got one of those. Let's go ahead and grab it. Gave us two. Okay, that's all right. We got an extra one down here. It's worth 52. This is worth 85. We'll keep the 85. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. Okay, here we go. Great, great, great upgrade. Nope, nanites it is. Okay, that's all right. That's all right. Just make sure there's no buildings nearby because we tend to miss those. We're not careful. Okay... Okay, south it is. Or this direction, anyway. We're going to head towards the historical da data, because sometimes that's worth millions. I mean, you can get a couple million out of just one item. That's always worth it, as far as I'm concerned. So. And these ships aren't cheap. Okay, take another look. Building. All right, so this might be it. Finally. 
hate to have to take these video videos and splice them together like this, but it is what it is. Ah. Three ships, none of them landing. I was heading up there so I could get a good running start to jump, but yeah, that didn't work out well at all. Let's see what this building is. Uh, okay. Yeah, it's an abandoned building. Let's just see if there's anything else around real quick. We can definitely park there and that'll be the end of it all. Whispering eggs aren't going to do me any good here. They do give me nanites and I get that, but uh, kind of useless to be honest. They're not any near... Uh, let's try that again in English. They're not worth anywhere near as much as your buried tech. So, how many... Five. We have five microprocessors. Let's see what we get out of this. A Gek Relic that we don't need. And what do we get out of this? Nothing because our inventory is full. No, I don't want to turn on the light. Dihydrogen jelly that we don't need. How are we doing on dihydrogen? Yeah, let's get rid of it. We don't need it. Okay. Let's go inside. And there's probably a piece of buried tech inside this building. Yeah, it's right there. It's always around the other side. You can go any direction you want, and they're just going to move the... Move it to the other side. Do it every time. Alright, we're in. There's my buried tech. Let's check it out. See if we can get an upgrade out of you. Toxic protection. It's not the same. Well, wait a minute. No, just toxic environments. So we can't use it. It's really not going to help me out here. This is for um, poisonous, not radiation. So what we're going to do, undo that, and we'll get ourselves that. And we're going to go to our multi-tool. And... Our A-class upgrade is now... Advanced Mining Laser is now in. Excellent. And we don't need this anymore. Excellent. So now we have some extra room. we got two extra spots. So we can get some more buried tech. Which, you know, there happens to be some right here. So, but we'll do that in the next episode. And we're going to call it here. I'm going to go ahead and stop this episode here. And I hope you enjoyed it. And learned a little something as well about, you know... Uh, the fact that we can't seem to get a decent program that works properly these days. But, hey, it is what it is. Um, let's go ahead and get rid of that. So now we have three spots open. And I'm going to put the oxygen over there. Okay, put you guys over here. So we've got three spots open now. Let's put this down here and put this over here. So there we go. All right. Let's get our life support charged up. And we're good. All right. So we're in good shape. I want to thank you all for watching. We're going to go ahead and call it here. And we'll pick up in the next episode. Uh, we'll do one more episode after this and see how it goes. Maybe we'll find a ship. Maybe we won't. Thank you all for watching. And we will see you again. Please hit the like and subscribe. And take care, everybody. Bye-bye.